been a hot minute. I haven't been able to do a lot of rides that I felt were worthy to take video of, but I did find some, and I'm just, just getting back to it now. Um, this was probably one of my first rides after my last big break, and the weather still being a little chilly, but clear. And I have this app on my phone called Kakao. Don't make fun of it, it actually works pretty well. It's the, it's the Google Maps version in Korea. And I got lost trying to find this location, this beach that I thought I knew the way without having to look at navigation. But in getting lost, I'm always finding something interesting. That wall right there, that very colorful stone wall uh, was the highlight of getting lost in that particular moment. Um, this was a road on the southwest end of the closest town that is near us, which is called Mozupal. There's a lighthouse. I don't remember. I don't think that was the one I was trying to get to, but sunsets, like I said, have been just absolutely amazing. I ended up taking a friend of mine here just yesterday. So it's, I'm doing my commentary on this. It's, it's actually the end of May. Um, I found this space actually... Uh, back in the fall on my bicycle and I was looking around just trying to feel it out um, this particular day I was trying to find a beach ended up getting confused with another one so instead of wasting it I ended up mapping out a lighthouse and on the way trying to find this lighthouse I ran into this alleyway which I'm still not even sure if I was going the right direction everybody's facing the other space or um, the other way and <laughs> I guess I can get away with a lot of things being on a little bike the way that I'm on it right now. But yes, I, I had I had some moments where I questioned my sanity. It reminded me a lot of um, Central Coast California. So I feel it all coming back. But anyway, in finding a lighthouse, I ended up going on this long stretch of what I'm assuming is a pier. A very long pier. Behind me, or at least to the right of me, is the sun setting. Um, I could have actually gone all the way down. At the end of this road was a lighthouse. There's actually a lot of lighthouses on this island, as to be expected. Um, this was perfect. Yeah, so I got off my bike, I walked up a bit. I could have actually walked or driven all the way up to the lighthouse, but look at this! Just beautiful. So, I still haven't figured out what those big concrete jacks are for and why they're shaped that way. So anyway, maybe, maybe a, a mystery I will solve at another time. This was the exciting part, was finally finding a road that has character to it. I found a windy, curvy road um, while I was riding the bus with our group of kids who was doing scuba. So, just a bit of background, um, as a staff member and as part of my duties, I do what are called after-school activities. I commit to an hour or two hours, depending on what the actual activity is. I have to give that, that's part of my contract. And for the spring, I was asked to do track and field, which I wasn't too keen on at the time, and I was more interested in what my colleague was doing, which was a scuba certification course that also the kids get a chance to do. So I was able to work with him on that and in going to some dive sites, we took a bus to get to this particular dive site and all I could think about was I need to get on my motorcycle and ride this uh, because every road that I've taken so far on the island has been just pretty straight and boring. Not in a bad way, just I, I miss the curves and the excitement of getting into that lean, that I, I can't find it. Uh, or at least I didn't think to find it until we actually took this road. So this took us to a landing station where we were able to dive at the time. I wasn't on that trip with this one. This was, this was a couple days after we had done that. What I loved about this road um, wasn't just the views. Obviously that was a, that was a huge part of it. It was just the fact that it was different, you know? I was able to see um, Mount Hollison a little bit on the further way out. 
but just I haven't been on a curvy road in almost a year my last the last one I did actually was right before I left San Jose it was going up Mount Hamilton I missed that I missed the excitement and the the thrill and the challenge of those tight turns these weren't anywhere near as tight as those rides that I had taken a year ago but it, it brought back some great memories and even more when I think about the fact that this is only the bike that I have is only a 125 cc it's not very fast it's very compact so I can definitely maneuver around a whole lot easier but I miss I miss that g-force that motorcyclists talk about it's just it just pulls you in it's just so there's no way to really describe it for me right now. I can't think of the words, but it's what I live for when I'm on my bike. And I, I know a lot of people can't understand that because they've never been on a bike or they're scared to be on, let alone be scared to try and you know drive one. But I love the idea that I don't have a car keeping me from these views and keeping me from the feel when you take a tight turn, when you're leaning into the road, um, when you literally... I mean, I'm not ambitious enough to put my knee down or anything, but just a little lean and you feel like you're going to fall and then you don't. I mean, it's the thrill seeker in me. Anyway, <laughs> this is a, a one of those long roads, uh, one of the main roads going back towards where I live. So basically where the sun is setting, that's the direction that my flat is. And that big old rock right there, that big mountain right there, uh, is a landmark because on the other side of it, on the west end of it, I'm going from east to west, um, is where I frequent a lot of different cafes. There's a great little coastline, and a lot of the beaches that I found here are not very crowded. So that's another nice thing about it. This road right here was a shortcut, shortcut off the main drag, and I've walked this. There's actually a bus stop behind me so this is what or driving towards the north end towards my campus and before I had a car I would try and find the nearest bus stop so there was one behind me there was one as I'm going towards uh, the building right right in front of me that you see there um, that's the campus right there that's actually my workplace um, I like I said tight turns tight spots just giving you a feel of the land and the fact that in the 10 months that I've been here, this place has actually grown pretty big as far as the things that are available, accessibility. But I definitely can't imagine not having a way to get around. And <laughs> for as much as I want a bigger bike, I, I am thankful to even have this one. Because the last bike that I had you know, gave me a little bit of heartache. And I haven't had any issues with this one yet. Hopefully not. But hey, check it out. This is my view every afternoon.